Hello guys, this is the Parfish here, and today I want to review this Hollow Stone and Go set. So, um, there's no need to really show you the box. So, we got inside the box, we got the sticker sheet. And the stickers are really annoying. So, when you buy this set, just be sure to know that the stickers are going to be uh, really annoying. And if you like, if you're not good at placing stickers, one little mistake can cost you a whole sticker to break down if you try to remove it. And yeah. It's just really annoying. As you can see here, there's like a crack. Yep. Stickers, uh, I really don't like them. Then there's also a instruction manual. But there's really nothing to assemble. It just shows you how to store your cars and uh, store this whole set. So, first up, to activate... Not really activate, but like, to fold up the set, you gotta fold this up. And then here you gotta fold up the building and the and the building up there you also have to fold it up so yeah now you're ready to play so first feature we've got this garage right here so you can use the yellow pistol to remove some stuff in the car add some stuff steal some parts and yeah then we flip it down you can drive up to a garage right here. It's not really a garage, it's just a sparking par parking space. So yeah. Then in the middle over here, we have a garage. Here we have a dive. Here we have a diverter for uh, up here. And then let's go down. Here we have here we have a bell. Close up. Then here we have a fire department place, I think. And let's take this hover storm. Put it in there. And then here we have a elevator. So drive up there. And then Turn the red lever, and yeah, now you're going to go in second floor. You can also put park a car up here, so it can become like some sort of car show maybe. Contain a few cars. So now we have a view of the full set itself, so let's take a look at the downhill track. So I'll put my prototype H24 here and roll it down. So this is the first diverter. It only like leads you up to go to the garage. But the car doesn't actually get on the garage. It usually stops before it. So let's just turn the diverter and get the, the one that we all want to see. And then we also got this lever right here. And that's to um, that's to trigger this car down. Well, I mean, it still works, right? <laughs> Let's just try a second time. Well, it's not usually like that, but you know, I'm just gonna use this Porsche. Finally, it works properly. And the thing that's, that I really like about this set is that, well, you can send down multiple cars at the same time. So yeah, I like it. So now let's start sending down multiple cars. So. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention that this um, Stow and Go, the version I have, does have some track ports, so you can put on some track to connect to other cities, to other Hot Wheels City sets, make a big Hot Wheels City, or to simply connect to uh, some track sets to go after that. Who knows? So, yeah. I'll do this. It's downhill. So, um, overall, I think this set is also a pretty good diorama. So, as you can see right here, put some cars. Time of taxis up there. Porsche is standing around here. And there's a Mustang. Charger and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's a pretty good place to store your cars, too. 
So let me just show you that right after I show you this one thing. As you can see here, there's a pretty cool squirrel in the sticker. So yeah, it's pretty unimportant, but yeah. So if you want to store the set itself, you gotta first take off all the tracks, all the cars. Then you gotta flip down some stuff. The elevator. And then you gotta pop down the buildings. And then the other building. And this lever. I mean this um, ad commercial thing. And then we can start flipping it. So, just flip it up like that. And then, flip up both levers. And here the red thing, and just snap it on. And now, take this up, flip it up. Now you're ready to go. This is your stow and go set. And um, you can also store your car, your cars inside, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Um, because, well, if you're like about to take it away, like your cars might be banged up after that and might have a few scratches. But, anyways, store your cars. There are a few spots. For example, around here, there's a hole here so you can cramp in two cars. Cramp in a few cars in there. And just focus. And I can cramp in some cars. And then you can also cramp in some cars in the, the garage doors. Okay. The instruction says you can cramp in three cars. So, one, two, and... Three. And then um, the other garage can also cramp in three cars. But mainly the spot where you can cramp in the most cars is the place right here. So, this is the place where you put your cars while you're flipping it. So, like that. When it's still 90 degrees vertical, you can put some cars right like that. Put the cars on top of each other. And then, well, right about here. Is that four cars? Yes. You can put around four cars like that. You can flip it up and go. So, um, that's about it for my review of this set. Um, I like it. But I do have to say that I since I paid thirty five bucks Canadian, I uh I did not like the stickers. Like pay forty five bucks for this, like the the quality of the plastic, you can definitely feel it. It's pretty good, but still, I would have preferred that um, they could have made some, they could have like printed stuff in there, because well stickers they irritated me and yeah, it was not pleasant. So this set, I rated. 8 out of 10. I like it, so um, yeah. Until next time, this is Fish out.